Welcome to Around the Bend with Soki. In this episode, we're going to talk about some roof maintenance that I spotted on our 385 FL from Alliance that really needs to be done to save us some big problems down the road. I'll show you what I mean. The strip that runs all along the side of the roof where it's fastened on and they had put screws in with this metal bracket that holds it all in and then the strip goes in. I found down there a big stretch that was already pulled out and then I saw this bubble as I came down through and what that means is the screws behind it are popping out and when those start to pop out essentially the side of your roof is starting to come apart. It, it did it down there in a stretch that was about six or eight inches. And then I looked down through and found this. No, actually down there it was about a foot. Um, it was right between the slides and collected a lot of debris and of course water. So I'm going to go ahead and fix this. This is the same screws that hold everything else together. And I'm going to check it and see when I found when I turned it in I found out it wasn't there wasn't anything much behind it already So I put some additional screws just like the ones that go in there Back into it and made sure that it's snugged up All right, so all this collects with debris. This is the channel That's supposed to be your east trough and where this bumps out you'll find it collects a lot of debris so I checked the screw that was popped out, which was this one, and it tightened up. The one next to it was loose, it tightened up. But then I tried this one, you can see that one's pretty well tight in there. This one here, and I couldn't get it to snug, it just spun. So I've got a couple more screws, I'm going to put one in either side of it to clean it up. So I was able to put a couple screws in there. The neighborhood where that one screw didn't have a lot of act, uh, bite, I put in next to it, it didn't seem to have a lot of bite there either. So I moved over a little bit, found another one that did. You want to get this track stuck right back up in there, because otherwise it'll push right back out again when you're going down the road, the wind will catch it. And you don't want that coming out. But that's what it's supposed to look like, and now my track Looks good from front all the way down to back. 